Hello learners, welcome to Programming Hub. Today we are diving into a question that's been on many developer minds. Should I learn PHP in 2024? Let's break it down. First, let's talk about what PHP is used for. PHP stands for Hypertext Preprocessor and it's a server-side scripting language that's especially suited for web development. It's embedded into HTML, making it easy to add dynamic content to websites. PHP has powered some of the most popular websites you know. Let's look at few examples. Facebook. Initially built on PHP, Facebook revolutionized social networking. Wikipedia, the world's largest online encyclopedia, uses PHP to manage its content. Lastly, WordPress. This popular content management system powers 40% of the websites on internet. So what made PHP so famous? Here are a few reasons. Number one, being ease of use. PHP is relatively easy to learn, even for beginners. It has a straightforward syntax. Its flexibility with HTML and various databases like MySQL, Postgres and SQLite is relentless. PHP is open source, which makes it free to use and a large community supporting it offers libraries and frameworks that can be integrated seamlessly. And speaking about its performance, PHP can handle a large amount of data and traffic efficiently, making it suitable for high traffic websites. But if PHP has so many merits, why do people not use it as much in 2024? Let me list out the main reasons for it. Number one, security concerns. PHP has a history of security vulnerabilities, which can be mitigated, but require careful coding practices. PHP also has performance issues. While PHP is efficient, modern languages and frameworks offer better performance and scalability. Alternatives like Python, Ruby, JavaScript offer more features and are more aligned with development practices. Speaking of alternatives, so what has replaced PHP? Many modern web applications now use languages and frameworks like JavaScript. Number one alternative is Node.js, which is a JS framework. It allows JavaScript to run on the server side, enabling full stack development with a single language. Popular frameworks like Express.js, Next.js have made Node.js a favorite for building scalable and fast web applications. Number two in this list is Python. Now Python along with Django and Flask can create sleek web applications. Python's readability, simplicity combined with powerful frameworks make it an excellent choice for web development. Django in particular is known as batteries included philosophy, providing everything you need to build robust applications. Number three is Ruby on Rails. Ruby on Rails emphasizes convention over configuration, making it easy to get started with and maintain. It has a strong focus on developer happiness and productivity. With many built-in features, Ruby developers can streamline a lot of coding practices. So why was PHP replaced? The primary reasons are modernization. Newer languages offer more modern features, better tooling, and an active development community. Scalability in modern languages are better suited for building large-scale, distributed systems that require high performance. With huge community support, developers move to new languages, and hence resources for PHP have dwindled. It makes it harder to help stay updated and even find the latest best practices in PHP. In conclusion, should you learn PHP in 2024? Well, it depends. If you are maintaining a legacy system or working on WordPress, PHP is still highly relevant. However, if you are starting a fresh or looking to work on cutting edge technologies, learning a modern language like JavaScript, Python, or Ruby 
might be more beneficial. Each of these languages offer robust framework, strong community support, and modern features that can give you a competitive edge in the job market. If you want to learn them, then consider subscribing to our Programming Hub app, which offers a lot of courses for developers. We ensure that our app can help in gaining knowledge from a beginner to even experienced ones. I'll add the app link in the description box below. Share this video with your friends, family, and anyone else who might benefit from learning about coding. If you like what we do, consider subscribing to our channel. Together, we can spread knowledge and empower more minds to join the coding community. Happy coding!